now after the location we will display the uh, pin code then we will display the uh, time zone also if you want after the IP address you can also display the uh, ISP which simply means internet service provider for the network which to which we are connected so let's copy paste this piece of code for the ISP so as it is also let's just copy paste it for the pin code of course now we will change it for the time zone so first of all for the ISP we can say internet the icon will be icon start account tree internet service provider and the value of which we can get from IP info dot value dot internet service provider then after it we have the pin code So value dot zip code and then you can say pin code or zip code it's totally up to you and then lastly we have the time zone so we can say make sure to also change the icon uh, for the pin code or zip code which will be map pin ellipsis and this is the cupertino icons cupertino icons start map pin ellipsis which is this one and then for the time zone it is time zone the icon for this will be share arrival time outline and the color for this will be cyan and for the zip code it will be uh, purple accent and for the location it will be green and of course for the ISP let's go with deep orange accent only deep orange is good okay it is much dark so yeah this is all about our network IP information which we display now let's now we have to add a click event only on our uh, info icon button if you remember on the all screens on the home screen here inside the widget build we have a bar and we have this button okay so on the home screen when the user click on this info icon button then the user will see the network IP information so we can send the user if the user click on it we will send the user to the screen which is our connected network IP IP info screen so yeah that's it there is uh, one thing which I forgot earlier and that is in our model which is our network IP info dot dot file remember here uh, as you know that when the information is loading at, at that time uh, each variable is equals to null okay until unless the information get loaded successfully then to this uh, you can say the value is assigned so just like for example here let me tell you if the information is loading coming back as a response from the API so we will get this region name okay which is in the JSON format and we assign it to its variable or you can say to its attribute region name so otherwise let's say if the it is loading let's say your uh, internet speed is low or let's say somehow some problem occur then in that case if the region name we do not get then it will assign this empty string 
to this region m or for example here in case of time zone if we get the actual time zone from the api as a response then that time zone value will be assigned to time zone otherwise let's say somehow if any problem occur and it we do not get the time zone then this unknown value will be assigned to this time zone okay so we have done it for every other one but not for the country so let's add here so if we get the country from the api then it will be assigned to country name otherwise if any problem occur then we will assign the empty string to the country name okay this is important to do it like this now and the refresh button where we have this one before calling our retrieve ip details method from the api vpn get class we will also say ip info dot value so to this we will assign to the ip info dot value we will assign our ip info from json and yeah that's it now let's just test our application so the app is running now and now let's select any vpn location to which we want to connect so it is gathering vpn servers from around the world so around 100 vpn servers we get now to which vpn you want to connect you have to just select it from the list so let's say if i want to connect to vietnam i will click on it key will appear at the top of your screen when vpn is active click ok it will show you that pop up ok so we are connecting now to vietnam vpn and we are connected as you can see key appears we get the download speed upload speed here is the ping which is also excellent so it means if we click here now then we will get the vietnam vpn location and which you can see here okay this is the vpn ip address i mean to the network to the vpn network vietnam to which i am connected now for which i getting this download this upload speed this ping this is the ip address of that network this is the internet service provider for this ip address i mean for this internet to which i mean the vpn network to which we are currently connected and the location you can see here it is showing the vietnam location that is Ho chi minh city Ho chi minh vietnam the zip code is not coming so you see that it is empty okay because with some vpn servers the zip code is not available however you can see the time zone which is asia ho chi minh which is in vietnam similarly if i disconnect or let's say if i go and select any other vpn let me tell you for each vpn server you will not get this info okay you will get for only those vpn server whose ping is excellent and whose download and upload speed is well if i connect to let's say this one japan whose speed is high as well we are connecting to it and we are connected successfully you can see that now in order to know that either uh, my this japan vpn server network speed is good you have to basically open up your browser and in the browser just open any website okay. so you can see that that vpn uh, server which is connected now to japan now our location is japan that one is working fine the speed is excellent it's open the website now if i go back and if i want as you can see it the download speed is 1.9 MB and the upload speed is 618 that is 618 KB per second and this is the ping as you can see now if I want to check the info of it the network information then I will simply click here and it will show me now the network information about that VPN server to which I am currently connected
let's refresh not available unknown still retrieving so as I told you for some VPN server you will not get the info IP info of it okay so it is okay I mean for example for some we will get for some we will not get maybe it is private for this specific server which is from Japan that's why we are not getting its IP information for, for example now if I select any other location let's say for example for Vietnam we were getting the information now let's connect to this one Cambodia let's try out Cambodia so we are connected to Cambodia we get download speed upload speed ping is 1 ms I'm going to check in browser either it is working or not so yeah it is working you can see the Cambodia Google offer in this is the Cambodian language Cambodia election you can see all the things so anyways now if I go back and let's check the IP information let's wait for it it is fetching and yeah this one is working as you can see we get the uh, IP information for the Cambodia VPN server to which we are currently connected for which we are getting download speed upload speed and the ping so for some VPN server you will get the IP information if you connect to it for some you will not get okay it depends on it okay so as you can see this is the IP address for the Cambodia VPN server to which we are connected here is the ISP which is this one the internet service provider location is Pursat Pursat uh, Cambodia zip code is missing as usual and for the uh, Cambodia VPN server as well and time zone is provided which you can see here Asia uh, Phnom Penh which is in Cambodia 